Hello, anyone, hello, anyone who may be watching now or later. Helen here, along with Drakir, and welcome to Singularity, the last of the Raven Software uh, first-person shooters uh, before, well, other stuff started to happen, and they basically started getting screwed over. Yeah, I've been I've been wanting to stream and play this game because this is my first time playing through this. Um, I've been wanting to play this game for quite a while, but uh, yeah, originally when I tried it, it was just giving trouble. But I did somehow manage to get it to work. Don't ask me how at all. Actually, uh, that off. I don't have sound from the game. It should have given you. There, there is sound, but it's only very soft at the moment. Yep, nothing. nothing on my end. I'll reach up to max. Okay. I'll just uh, end the stream to you for a moment and then restart it. Yeah, I don't maybe, be... yeah, maybe that's because the earbuds I had a connection oh. issue earlier. Now, now I can you hear. have sound? Yes, now I have sound. Hallelujah! <laughs> okay, well, let's get started then. Yep. Uh, start new game and let's go on normal. Okay, it wasn't. Oh, come on, is it not capturing now? Capture specific singularity. Uh, it's it's it, it worked with recording when we tried it last time. Yep. Uh, okay, moving to window capture then. Okay, and that hasn't doesn't have it showing up for some reason. Come on, don't tell me I have to go to just monitor capture. Like, come on. Okay, display capture then. And there we go. Okay, yeah, this, this is an old game, so it's going to be iffy at times. But uh, yeah, let's do that again so people can actually see what happens. But first... Continues to expand in both military might and political influence. Soviet Russia holds a commanding position in the future destiny of the world. But it was the United States that held the secret to atomic power. The flags of freedom fly all over the world. His superiority would be short lived, however, as Stalin was already at work on a plan of his own. While searching for uranium on a tiny island off the southeast coast of the Soviet Union, Russian engineers discovered E-99, a powerful and unprecedented source of energy. Seeing an opportunity for further world domination, Stalin authorizes unlimited development funds to explore the capacities of the substance. Project director Viktor Barasov establishes an island research station, Katorga 12. For his groundbreaking research, he receives the Order of Lenin. When Nikita Khrushchev succeeds Stalin, he accelerates the program, pressuring Barasov to begin field experiments. However, not only is E-99 capable of delivering unimagined power, it is also incredibly volatile. Yet Barasov is pressured to begin tests. Disaster has no known survivors. Moscow buries the installation, effectively wiping it from the map. 2010. A U.S. spy satellite flying over the area is blinded by a radiation surge. Fearing another Chernobyl, 
and suspicious of Moscow's secrecy. The reconnaissance mission over Katorga 12 is ordered by the Pentagon. And that'll be the only time I hopefully have to turn my camera off because for some reason when I, this game is up, I can't use my OBS shortcuts. Like I can press uh, my shortcuts for the BRB screen all I want, but it isn't making it happen. I'm guessing that's because it's running in administrator mode, which uh, well makes it supersede anything else. And yeah, this is as far as we tested actually. And uh, yeah, yeah. For, for an old game, it still looks pretty good, huh? Oh, yeah. And quite the impressive fire effect. On some area, please. I think we just missed something happening. Uh, yeah, I don't think you're alone. Far from, but uh, on a bit of closer ex look, it is a. Uh, <laughs> it is a, it is a, just a GIF or something, or GIF or however people pronounce it. But yeah, we aren't meant to just stand still and uh, just look at all of this here. Though we probably shouldn't stand too close all the same. And the, yeah. what the hell? Okay. Bill, you might want to see eyes? a dentist. I don't think they not just a dentist is need. Oh, hello. The death of Dr. Demichev in the fire had far worse results than anyone expected. We had hoped Dr. Beresov would be allowed to continue with our research, but we just received word that Moscow has deemed our work to be too dangerous. Any further study into E99 is being discontinued and all personnel are to be removed from the island. Carto uh, Katoga 12 will be completely shut down. All our work will be lost. Okay. And what? Welcome to Katorga 12. All first time arrivals must report to registration. All those who have previously registered are free to enter through the North Gate. <laughs> okay, that's uh. That's uh, nice of the Russians to port it in English as well. <laughs> oh. yeah, okay, yeah, that is very surprising. And also, when you have a superpower that says all this, and this can cancel a project just because it's too dangerous during the Cold War, that says a lot how dangerous it is. Yeah, I, I know a thing or two. here what's your status captain they got punched out copters down and we're scattered don't know how many kias yet over 
Satellite scouts you about 30 clicks south of a radio tower. Get your team there, Captain. We're pulling you out. Understood, sir. Spartan team, if you copy, switch your comm gear to TAC-3. Meet up at the rally point. <laughs> reverse ours. I'd forgotten about that. They used to reverse yeah. in and all the letters as well. Yeah, just to give it a bit of a Russian feel. I, I have no clue about how many odd letters the Russian alphabet has like that. Same, but no, no, they... It is a bit messy with the brain. Let me just get a picture of that. Oh, okay, what is this here? But yeah, what were you to say before you got interrupted by Devlin? Yeah, I I know a thing or two about this game. I've avoided spoilers as much as possible, but uh, yeah, things are going to get wacky. Or at the very least, strange. The yeah, community of science, industry, and technological studies. Again, why is it in the English? Or, or can our character maybe read Russian? That That is the uh, explanation, sort of. Perhaps. And yeah, I want to say, I've seen a little bit of this game, but I've never finished it. I was more like uh, either playing it while I was about to sleep or just had it playing in the background. So, and it was long ago, so I forgot the most of it. But I, what I do remember is, yeah, this damn thing is dangerous. And if I'm recognizing things correctly, that's Lenin up here and Stalin in there. Yeah, bloody, I just realized. I you definitely don't want to make an E-bomb of this damn thing. That's more notes. These people arrive from the boats, they, they no doubt have a great many questions, but you must explain that there is no time to waste. Move quickly and without hesitation through the list of prepared questions. Once you've filled, filled out the form fully, move the newcomer to the next station. There are always a great many people to process, and the faster you work, the faster everyone will finish their job. Okay, so a lot of influx. Okay, work, read, and something. Hmm. Typical propaganda. The phone line's dead. I don't think that's the sound that a typewriter makes. That's a more the bellboy's bell or something. Is a yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I don't think the phone is dead. Yes. Rumor has it that Dr. Borisov might become the new head of Katorga 12, but I doubt Moscow has much confidence in him. If only Dr. Demichev had died in the fire. Fire? Okay. Uh, you're thinking more that it's just uh, not connected? Because it is making a sound still. Yeah, for it was dead, it, well, it would not hurt anything, basically. Okay, some physics fuckery. Oh no. And wait, is this supposed to be a little church or something? I think it's more like a waiting room. Could as well be, yeah. Okay, let's not lollygag too much. The research laboratories are where scientific investigation is done into the potential uses of E99. Some of the areas of experimentation include weapons development, crop regeneration, and medical research, as well as chronology investigation. Okay, I think we're over at this one here, which is probably... The industrial oh, nope. docks are where supplies are brought in from the mainland. Hundreds of tons of equipment and material are offloaded here every day. Well, that's where you are. You are here. The village area <laughs> contains the civilian docks, where new personnel first arrive on Katorga 12. It is home to many of the inhabitants of the island, and features a school that offers the best in Russian education. Yeah, more like the best in Russian propaganda. <laughs> Just the, the, the timing. 
Okay, so that was the broken tower. The Obviously, that didn't go to point upon. E99 ore is purified and enriched. In order to protect the civilian population from any potential radioactivity, security is very high. The rail line is where vast amounts of supplies and research materials are moved across the island. It also serves as the main transportation of raw E99 ore. And that's all of that. They, they didn't need to put this in, but that's one of the things that I believe uh, Raven Software was well known for. Just detail work like that. Yeah, and it being there makes sense, sort of, since it is a, well, entire villages and all that. Yeah, it's a community. Yep, and what did you say there, that it had an effect on crops? Yeah, uh, I think, no, we... Anyone who has knows a decent uh, bit about this game, or even just a cursory glance of it, knows that th there will be time travel stuff, or time manipulation stuff. And well, they talked about chronal applications. Look, that is time travel stuff. And yep. I'm thinking they're basically uh, rewinding time on crops so they can be harvested again. Again, they they had no, they really didn't need to do any of that, and I'm guessing that adds a bit of context to this industry, science, uh, agriculture. I almost forgot the word again. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's move on. We've been at this for almost 20 minutes now. By some miracle, you're alive and hearing this. Rally at the base of the radio tower we passed over before we got bounced. SNR's running carpool from there. Double time it. Move. Okay, middle mouse to that. C for crowds. Uh, let's see if I can change that quickly because I really don't like C for crouch. I it looks like you put a huge shop that board. <laughs> uh, Austin Powers uh, goes <laughs> Russian hunting. Oh God! Help! Help! For the love of God, please help me out! Okay, we're starting already. Hmm. Yeah, we're obviously the fire went blazed through this place. Nope. Yep. 
Uh, okay, that, that confirms it, I guess. Okay, I don't think... <laughs> I don't think we'll be welcome here if we are spotted, so... Uh, ow. Let's move. See what... Ow. Team. I got your Russian J. Joma Jameson. My leg is hurt. I can't walk. You'll have to help me. Okay, yep. I can't stand up again. Uh, this leads us back here. That way is blocked. Um, something else open up here then? Uh, no, we didn't. Um, okay, uh, JJJ, I can't get you pictures of Spider Man, but I also can't get you out of here, it seems. Unless. No. Oh, no, we you know. Weird. Uh, maybe I'm being blind, or you know, we can just go this. No, we cannot. Uh, where do we need to go? We're, lim we're limited to this area. Uh, or at least it doesn't seem like we have a time limit or something. Can't melee attack to break any beams, possibly. Seriously, where do I need to go? I see no functional path. Yeah, now I wish I, I very much doubt. I very much doubt we want to go down there. This way is also blocked. Okay, am, am I just being an idiot? Wait, did Let's you do have that there? Uh, there? Yeah. Or did you try that already? I tried that already, but it's, it's also blocked. So oh. Okay, uh, I'm drawing a complete blank. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking this also blocked. They obviously want us in here somewhere because the wall caved in. Developers want us in here, that is. Uh, oh. I thought that door was freaking locked. Okay, we are going this way then, then that seems... Yeah, <laughs> fully expect that to break. This place looks a lot different now. And that was Janet Demichev that we rescued. 
who originally died in the fire. So we just changed history. You are here. The village area contains the civilian docks, where new personnel first arrive on Katorga 12. It is home to many of the inhabitants of the island and features a school that offers the best in Russian education. Completed in 1955, the tower serves as home to the Demichev reactor. This powerful device generates the singularity, an event horizon that provides the Soviet Union with unlimited energy that is both clean and safe. I'm not so sure about uh, safe, yeah, seeing as this place is still a shithole. Yeah, dude, is it? Is that new recording and then film mode? The influx of new scientists and technicians to Katorga 12 has increased tenfold since Dr. Demichev went to Moscow. His presentation of our work must have been very successful. Additional facilities are being built and our research funds continue to grow. And to think, only four weeks ago, Dr. Demichev almost died in that fire. Whoever saved him did us all a huge favor. Well, we just screwed up majorly. Yeah. Is this any different? Because things always get iffy. And I think this is the same where it looks to be. actually, Hmm. Is that Demichov? Hmm. Yeah, I think this is the same still. Uh, was this here before? Yeah, I think it's the same. Um, can't go that way. Can't go this way. This way, then. Yeah, that's not a sky you want to see, I think, unless it's... Unless it's... <laughs> going, things are literally going to hell. Many experiments on Kotorga 12 use the power of E99, and this leftover technology can be used to create upgrades. You can purchase upgrades once you find someone that understands the E99 technology. Okay. Gimme. Plus one hundred. Okay, that was a very compact little tack thing. Though it looked like a. I saw a curious poster. But same time, the not turn off this. But all right. Is that poster hushing? Hmm. Actually, yes. Hmm. Did get a freaking. I should get a Russian dictionary to try and grasp anything that's being said here. I don't know how much time I have, so I'll make this quick. The singularity exploded about two hours ago, killing hundreds of people. But spreading radiation is also having effects. It's mutating humans into violent monsters, and they feed on human flesh. I have to get out of here before they find me. Okay, so now we're dealing with time zombies. Titan one actual. Copy. For fuck's sake, someone copy back! Copy back and tell me things look a little south of normal because I'm officially freaking out! Go in section 8 here. I know it, damn it. Okay, okay, eyes forward. Keep to the original directive. Continue to the radio tower. I think Titan 1 doesn't exist anymore. So, yeah, we got to keep our eyes out for uh, Russian lava lamps. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Mijokovic, your son Jacob has con continually been disruptive in class. He mocks me in front of the other students and refuses to keep his hat off during class. His crude behavior will not be tolerated. If this continues, he will be expelled from school or worse. This is Koslov. 
Yeah, I think we just missed something. When Kasha returned from the lab, she told me that uh, she wasn't feeling well because she had come in contact with an E99 solution. I offered to take her to the doctor, but she refused, saying she might terminate. They might terminate her. She begged me to keep quiet about it and let the sickness run in its course. But then she became so vi uh, became violent, so I chained her door shut. From the terrible sounds I've heard coming from there, I can't even bear to look her uh, look in on her anymore. Okay, yeah. Humans find new energy source. Humans discover new energy source is not as uh, useful as thought. Okay. If anyone should find this recording, please. Our children are hiding in a room at the top of the stairs. They only have a limited amount of food and water and won't be able to last for much longer. Please. They're so scared. Sounds like uh, the missus got out. Uh, but they... Oh. Okay, version... <laughs> Stop watches. <laughs> Uh, judging by the amount of rust here, I don't have high hopes for the kitties. Um, are you feeling scared over there? Not really, but but uh, yeah, this is creepy as hell. I cursed <laughs> the day we came to Katorga 12. Yuri is working himself to death in the labs. I keep asking him what that is so important that he can't come home and sleep, but he tells me he cannot talk about his work. We would both be punished. And yeah, that has been here for a while. Is, is that fully skeletonized? Yeah, it looks to be. I don't have a flashlight or anything, but that looks just bone to me. It looks more like skin being wrapped around the bone. Like they're being very dried out. Centurion. Single shot revolver that fires a powerful E99 bullet. This weapon does ha a, a very high amount of damage, but an extremely low rate of fire. Okay. It's a bit like a modified Desert Eagle. Standard aiming and firing controls. Oh. Come down to water. Give me that. didn't make it. I thought it was a doorway. <laughs> nope. But... Okay. I did not see that coming in the slightest. And uh, yeah. That was human at one point. Oh, hello. Good thing I check. Oh, and even more. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> okay. Now that we can actually defend ourselves, uh, bring it on. An extra pistol, even. Okay. But... Uh, Okay, completely desiccated to the bone. And still functional. Oh, there's another. Um, the lost track which... Oh, heal up. I don't think a bandage will do much. And there we go. <laughs> okay. 
And already low on ammo. Okay, we're going to have to be careful with our shots. And, uh... Okay. I get the feeling that was one of our colleagues. Oh, dear. Yeah, because they're still fresh. I hear more. Titan 1, if you're receiving, I'm in what looks like a school and... There's some guy. Holy mother! Well, Devlin's dead. I can hear something moving around, unless that was me rubbing up against metal. No, it was not me. Report steps. Okay, a bit more ammo. Okay, it looks like each of those health packs heals half of half of our health. Did that? Did that? Uh, just perfectly align, or Wait. time zombies? Uh, could it be that they exist on both timelines at once? Because then we'd have to be very careful. Yeah, the whole thing gets some explanation. But oh dear. The I can't tell if the these look like uh, sta they were staff or soldiers. They're a bit too big for the kids that were there. Message from Dr. E99. Hello, children. Please remember to wash your hands after using the restroom. Practicing personal hygiene is very important for the health and well-being of yourself and others. You wouldn't want to upset your parents by catching or spreading an infectious disease. Well, I get the feeling they did outside of their control or at least some people did help me there were sirens and then there was explosion and miss barsukov screamed and ran out of the classroom and she left us there all alone i am hiding in the restroom and everyone's screaming and panicking outside I don't know what to do. Please help. Yeah, things went to absolute shit with that singularity. No shit. <laughs> but what, ex what did you expect? Rainbows and cookies? <laughs> Under Dr. Demichov's orders, we have begun using assigned seating in the cafeteria as well as assigned meals. I've had several teachers and students complain about this, but I've been told by Demichov to say nothing, and that is exactly what I'll do. Okay, someone has a bit of a hard-on for control. Then again, the entire Soviet unit had a big ass uh, boners for controlling everything. Okay, this looks like a dead end. So, oh, just more stuff. Another... <laughs> Another Soviet lava lamp. Kitchen staff, please place one ounce of this powder in each student's food who sits at table one. It's an experimental enhancer which is completely safe. Yeah, right. Is that a bear on the poster? Uh, which poster? Over oh, there. there. <laughs> yeah, it's a polar bear. Yeah, that... 
ice cream sandwich. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had any of those. You would love them. Nope. Not that. I do not love that. <laughs> Yo, yo. Hey. Well, I, I guess it's time did run out after all. Oh, come on. And also, it seems like we definitely need to aim for the head. Yeah. This isn't dead space. Hmm. Ooh, lots of goodies. Let's move back a bit to the stairs, because I get the feeling that locked door might be a point of no return. There's... What's on the door? There's damage half again. Wait, wait, wait. I think I saw some writing on the floor where you walk past. Uh, which wait, wait, door? Yeah. Oh, it's glass. Yeah. Because uh, Soviet assholery. And just in case, let's check back here in case. I get. I think above is where we continue. Oh. Wait, is this. Okay, that just went around. Okay. Oh. If anyone is available to substitute for me tomorrow, that would be greatly appreciated. I seem to have caught something and will not be in. Okay, so both the children and the adults were mutating in the... Oh, I, I thought it was another one of the, of the lava lands, but no, that's a head. <laughs> Wait, there's not something on there, and the other one. Uh, ah, there. Oh, like the bear, like extremes. My Oleg the Bear picture won a prize, and now the man who uh, liked it said he will use it on their ice creams. I get free ice uh, creams, and we uh, went to visit the factory where they make the treats. Mr. Damichev uh, came to see us and asked about Oleg's collar in my dra uh, drawing. I said I made it up, but I saw it in, uh, but I saw it in on a hands man, a, a, a man's hand. When I was waiting for Moma to finish her papers at the labs. It was glowy and it looked good on Olak. Yeah, that sounds like human experimentation. Which, well, so yet to be expected. Oh. Duck and cover doesn't really do anything. Yeah, it makes me wonder why you can teach it. Yeah, to prefer to prevent panic. It's a placebo effect. I'm not sure what the principal is up to, but ever since they began assigned seating during lunch, several students have gotten sick, some violently. Later tonight, I'm going to inspect the kitchen to see what the, where he's been feeding the children. If anything is abnormal about it, I'll let Dr. Demichev know. He'll set things right. Yeah, no, it was by his orders that we were up to that in the first place. It sounds like screaming or screeching in the distance. This is my first day at school. My family just moved to the island last week. I was afraid to leave all of my friends behind, but Papa tells me I will make new friends. He won't tell us what he's working on at his new job, but insists it will help us and I can get the puppy I asked for. We watched a film about Dr. E99 in class today. I wonder if Papa is working with Dr. E99 at his new job. Natalia Rose.
Is this the same? Oh no, this is different. This is our good friend, Dr. E99. He's our answer to the growing menace of the United States. You see, America created the atomic bomb, a powerful weapon they've used twice now on large cities. But thanks to a recent discovery, we control something much more powerful. We control the might of E99. E99 is a rare element that can only be found deep underground here on Katorga 12. A base was built on this island to study it. You see, our scientists think that someday they will be able to use E99 to accomplish some pretty amazing things. Like taking barren farmland and making it productive again. Or taking a sick man and making him a super soldier. They even hope to be able to turn back the clock on old citizens and make them young again. The might of E-99 means we no longer need to fear America's atomic power. The possibilities for E-99 seem endless. Who knows, with its help, we may soon be able to travel through time itself. But whatever its uses, we can sleep soundly, knowing that E-99 will protect us from the evils of the West and make the Soviet Union a safe and dominant superpower. The irony here is that I believe America was uh, somewhat similar in attitude with its atomic power in that it, they tried to use it as a just a wonder solution for everything. And uh, well, then they discovered radiation sickness. Yeah. Oh dear. And uh, yeah, this is a bit worse than just sickness. Learn to how to use those things. Mm. It would, it, I assume it would be reasonably easy. Uh, there's probably a speaker built into them. A True, speaker but it for like... it's receiving and sending. True, just feels like. Why would they have it? Mm. Better than a diary. Okay, music shift. You see, diary. You're giving a you're giving a library. Yeah, there's beasts nearby. There we go. Read for country and self. There's at least two more. Did you fall near that damn thing? This one? Oh. I thought he moved earlier. Mm, I didn't see any that, that, if that were the case. Might just been the light reflecting on him. Okay, that was a good one. 
But it also puts us down to at least one. And there's another soldier. And he has a new weapon for us. I don't know. Someone ran past. Yeah. AR Valkyrie. Primary assault rifle of the USSR, the name means chooser of the slain, and the weapon is a lethal combination of firepower, range, and accuracy. Okay. Is this a, a Russian soldier or one of ours? I think Russian soldier for. He still looks fresh. So, maybe it is a Russian soldier. It, so it might be just this gear that you look fresh. So, yeah, those clothes are not thin. And we're not really given a good glance at his face. Yeah. Could just be the American soldier that picked up one of the local weapons after losing his own. On-site procurement and such. Me. Oh, hello, Devlin. Rico, you're alive. You you got it. Help me. Son of a bitch, the Let him up. I'm already opening fire. Can't get an angle. I'll take left, you take right. Ready? One, two, three. Damn, is it good to see you, Renko? If you hadn't come along, I'd be dead. All right, we're supposed to meet up with SNR yesterday. Let's move up. Yesterday? Yeah, basically, ASAP. Oh, okay. Wait, here's another. Oh, uh, these things? You seen anything like them? Did the Russians create them? If they did, why? Well, they created them, but uh, not on that purpose. It, but I'm pretty sure a massive pillar of energy shooting into the sky wasn't mentioned in the mission brief. Yeah. This is okay. Devlin Four One. Being Do you being copy being... Titan One? Okay. I thought that's what I'm doing. It's shining on it. Frequency. Please respond. Are we good to go with extraction? Yeah, I don't think mission control is there anymore. We're not in a. Uh... Let's stick to the plan. Get to the radio tower. Maybe we can salvage equipment there if we need it. We're not in our own How timeline anymore. So wrong. This place is anything but abandoned. Something's not right. We should at least be able to hear the Titan One broadcasting. I Search and rescue it. teams better be on their friggin' way right now. I'm not sure if there's even if even if there if, I'm not sure if there's even an America to come to the rescue. Of course, there are the important experiments. 
Okay, if these mutants are just from eating it or being exposed to a bit, we'll have something to look forward to or not look forward to yeah, at the processing plant. I think you say it exists, so let's be honest. If you say it was gone, You're this place would probably look different. I've seen, but this is definitely a Russian soldier. No question. Grab that shotgun, let's go. Okay, so it was a Russian soldier we found. Volk S4. All the loading shotgun built to deliver massive damage. Wait. Uh, I'll... Oops, sorry, dude. I... The fuck? Okay, two weapon limits. Yeah, the pistol is only good if you do some proper headshotting or apparently spine shotting works too. Mm -hmm. Quick, give me a hand with this cabinet. Yeah. Here's Johnny and here's me with the shotgun. That movie would have ended a lot differently. Open the doors and cover me. <laughs> On me. All clear. You didn't check that way, dumbass. It's not. That's not called clear. Franco, flank right. I'll go left. Oh, uh, <laughs> Nature's a little bastard. What the? Where did the door come from? Maybe he kicked it down. Come on, oh, I put the set on the roof. Okay, now we can properly defend ourselves. Push ahead, Devlin. We're overextending. Yep. And that is why we don't overextend. If, okay. <laughs> Things shot them in half. Take my hand. On me. Down you. Okay, uh, hope, I'm guessing through here. You okay, better hurry. Thank you for installing the ladder in here. Oh, motherfucker! I knew it. Should have expected that. Yeah, what you see here? Say, two thirty, not two thirty, and it's alive. on that okay I'm guessing we're near the docks okay. now I uh, do have to say I really like the book in the science the here docks, but they bought some old there was no more room the guards claim they will return 
I fear another event. A much larger, much worse one, however. I saw the readings. I fear the worst. There is no sign of Nadia. Nadia? So, yeah, there were evacuations, but sounds a bit like... Yeah, things went boom a second time. Probably due to what they have accidentally created. Yeah, that the first explosion was just a, a four shock. Yeah, it's 86th. Go check out that guard post. Maybe there's another switch. Yeah, just send me alone, Devlin, dick. And again, I've survived so far. Yeah, you even survived me. <laughs> well, I'm not turning you insane yet. Yeah, that's my job. You sure about that? Oh god, the voice in your head. Yeah, well, I'm the one who's supposed to be entertaining. <laughs> okay. Just desiccated skeleton... ...is no monster. And that's... ...caved in. Collapsed would be more appropriate. Place is a bit too big not to be a combat arena at some point. Someone uh, enjoyed their last moments. That that is a that is a cool scene. Who and who's earning? This way. The lightning is making me expect another temporal shift at any moment. All right, we're Oscar Mike. Head back to my position. Okay, that's loud. Well, not that loud. Not sending off the horde. Shit, more of those things. Grab that rifle. We gotta clear a path. You me? Kazimov SN SNFP99. This variant is a modified semi-automatic sniper rifle. The precision optic design makes it perfect for long-range combat, but unreliable and close. Okay. Temporal dilation. Oh. Nice shoot. Let's move. Give me that back. As cool as that is, I don't think we'll find too much use of that. And it's not one of ours. Get down. Wait, what? Give me that. And I missed the chopper. It was not one of our words, he said. Yep. So, a Russian helicopter, most likely. Keep scanning for any more of those creatures. Well, I know where one came from at some point. Okay. Let's go. People have turned on the guards. Many are dead. Most of the others have fled deeper into the island. I must find my Nadia. Okay. Ah. 
Probably his daughter. Another lava lamp. Finally. Jesus, it's like an antique show in here. Hello. Weapon locker. To upgrade weapons and switch your weapon, I will allow that. Most weapons you've discovered in the world are ironically ironed. It's a weapon locker. Okay, that's an that's a nice little thing. Typically, yeah. when you, in, typically in these old shooters, you were limited to whatever you found. Titan One, this is Devlin Four One Actual. We're primed for extraction. Again with the Russians. Say again, this is Devlin Four One. Oh, they must be jamming our comms. It's all Russian all the time. Does anything work on this goddamn island? Of course not. This place has been abandoned for nearly 50 years. At least, it was supposed to be. Who the hell is this? Shit, these guys don't look friendly. I'm having a really bad day. Oh. oh, yeah, that looks like a... Uh, a hind variant or something. Uh, hello. Uh, please ignore the missile pods on your side. They'll make things so much easier for us. Reload. You should have stayed behind your cover. Oh, where did you come from? Dude, who the hell are these people? Oh. Dude. Stay out of sight of that thing. Oh, oh, it's dropping off them off over there as well. And that's a bunch of them now. Yeah, pick again. Uh, we'll deal with that thing later when we when it isn't under attack. Ow. Ow. Again, Devlin over. Oh, you got caught as well. Captain Reiko. You are Captain Reiko, are you not? Don't look so surprised. Your name's right on your uniform. America's charming pension for individuality. Now, I have some questions for you. Name, rank, and serial number. That's all you get from us, Ivan. Check your Geneva Convention handbook. I did away with that little inconvenience years ago. <laughs> In the United States military. I want to talk to someone in our embassy. I think you'll find that impossible for a number of reasons. Our embassy, right now! That's better. How is it you haven't aged a day in 50 years? There is only one explanation. The TMD, where is it? Okay, Demichev is here at... Run! Run! Yes, I'm already running. Shut up. Give me that. Missed it. 
out and out that way. How many of these assholes does he have? Turn left. They're right behind you. Thank Quickly, you. down the stairs. Down! Yeah. Nathaniel Renko. My god, you're here. Just like Mir 12 said. You must have a lot of questions, but we don't have a lot of time. Quickly, this way. Okay, but... Oh. Well, there goes our shotgun. My name is Catherine. I belong to an organization known as Mir 12. Here, this should answer some of your questions. We are Mir 12. Our mission is to reveal the truth that's been hidden from the entire world. In the 1950s, a military research base was built on the island of Katorga 12. To this day, the government denies its existence. That is a lie. According to top secret documents we've uncovered, the base was the site of research involving the mineral E99. The E99 research program was headed by two men. Dr. Viktor Barasov, a top researcher in the field of quantum physics. He didn't live to see the outcome of his work. Reports say he was killed in an unexplained laboratory accident. This man stepped in to lead the program after Barasov's death. He went on to lead Russia in a war for world domination. A war won using super-powered weaponry developed at Katorga 12. Today, we know him as Chancellor Nikolai Demichev, leader of the world government. The events surrounding Demichev's rise to power are still a mystery. Our organization is in possession of a journal that claims Demichev is a fraud. It raises many questions about Katorga 12. What happened there to put Chancellor Demichev in power? What could have caused so much destruction and taken so many lives? Evidence points to this structure on Katorga 12. The Singularity. What is the Singularity? The journal claims one man will lead us to the answers. His name is Captain Nathaniel Renko. It is our mission to locate Captain Renko and help him achieve his goal. We are near 12. We will reveal the truth. One of the lead scientists on the Singularity Project built a hidden vault. You must find it. Go through there. Here, two-way communicator with GPS. Now go! Why us? I, I didn't get a good read of that, but if that was Demichev's journal, uh, why would he predict that we'd be the only ones to be able to kill him or something? And uh, yeah, that basically confirms uh, yeah, <laughs> world domination through time manipulation. And, uh, yeah, yeah we we're sort of responsible for that. <laughs> and, wait, yeah, we? You mean you? Don't drag me into your mess. I may be in your head, but I am not we have no responsibility over your actions. Okay. Seems like the time zombies got even worse now. Yeah, now they can blink around. Guessing. Heck yeah. All right. Hmm. They sound like they're trying to communicate with each other. Wait, wait. What was that on the wall? Here. What was that another... guy? Yeah, he's been impaled on the spike, and then someone's hands got attached to that as well. Uh, all right. I, I thought it was merged with the wall.
Okay. Let's see what these things can do because yeah, fight them is unavoidable. Okay, another weapon locker. <laughs> That's a and another weapon upgrades. Attention to all paper and supply personnel. We will be converting, uh, converting over to ore storage and shipment as of next week. Positions and pay will remain the same. Fifty-three supply warden Smirnov. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we can even buy ammo with some of the tech. Okay. Andy. Uh, okay. I don't know what around. upgrades can we do. Let's see. Clip upgrade, quick reloads. Increase high damage. Uh, let's see. We have two of those techs. Let's see what we have available. Clip, reload, and damage. Okay. This seems like there's going to be a bit generic with that. Uh, let's grab one of these and and this one as well in, in exchange for the uh, centurion and then we up the damage of them both okay. be careful the radiation unleashed by the Singularity has mutated the people who used to live here. Keep your eyes open for them. Yeah, it's, it's mutated them even worse than before. Now they're less time zombies and more time ghouls. Wait, uh, are those wines? Yep. Looks like Mordramas has been here. Yeah! Bloody heck! Yeah, that, that makes those vines a bit more de intimidating in Guild Wars 2 when you get an actual first person view of them. Let's yeah, see. especially a little bit more. Yeah, detailed. We're going to have another shift here, I think. Fuck you. Oh, hello there. Don't mind me. Just reloading for a moment. And he fucks up on his own. You can't tell if I actually shot them there or if they blinked away just in time. And I think that's where we're going. How did that asshole uh, get into power after failing here so massively? Oh, I let. Wait, hold on. Okay, either his head split into two, or that's two heads fused into one. It seems the heads wanted to mer turn into two. We just got broad hmm. and it's shaping. Maybe that's why they are able to blink around. They got a well, different kind of brain to handle it. 
Uh, quant maybe like the a bit of uh, what is the word quantum weirdness that they can technically be in two places at once but only at one point at any time yeah checkmate knight defends rook but bishop takes king sorry Pavel. okay uh, i i do not get i do not understand uh quantum physics stuff and such but the basic point is that uh it could be anything from A to Z to 0 to 9, but you can only find out what it is once it is observed. But once you look away, it can become anything again. We've either lost the monsters or they grew bored with us. We're safe for now. Pavel twisted his ankle and we fear it is broken. We'll rest here for tonight. <laughs> As luck would have it, our little haven has a chest set and a stash of vodka. All the comforts of home. <laughs> well, yeah. if you're going to be stuck in a hellhole during an apocalypse, you might as well get boost up. <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't look like their shelter lasted. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, he didn't last either. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> I, I think he's trying to flip us off. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Where did he go? Uh, I guess, uh, yeah, we didn't observe him, so we didn't know his status anymore. Okay, that was those three, and yeah, they, at least they got out of their, uh, they got out of their shelter. Hmm. We can't reach there yet. Probably get there past here. I'll be taking that. Oh, uh Never mind about the cookies. <laughs> they don't want Girl Scouts or Boy Scouts or uh, US Rangers. Did one of them throw something? Yeah. One head, two heads. Hmm. I think I saw a health kit somewhere around here. Uh, right there. Might as well fill that last bit up. Thank you. Okay. This the way? you're searching for contains a device called the TMD. It was invented by Dr. Beresov, one of the scientists who worked here in the 50s. Oh, uh, hello. And goodbye. Have a nice fall. Okay, some more loot. Always reload, because you don't want to have to reload in the middle of combat. Well, yeah. hmm. Going to get another vision. Yeah, 
Lenin, Stalin, and I think I know who those three are. If you're going to save one, it counts. Really? Why? There has been an influx of personnel, soldiers and scientists, and they must be onto something big. And a friend who works in administration says they have been working double time to keep up with data input and file stories. Guess that's a good thing, right? 53 again, Alenia Kol Kolzov, please. Wait, is this, this is the mother, I think. Yeah, this is the mother of the, of the house earlier, who, uh, yeah, turned. Did they use time travel to just gather more and more research? I think she got, ac you know, it said she got accidentally exposed. No, oh, I mean, they're, they're about the file storage. But it sounds like they've got a lot of information going around quickly. No, they do have telephones and such. According to the Mir 12 journal, there's a hidden entrance in this building that leads to the vault. Find it. They search for secret entrance. But let's just wait to use time travel thing and like go back several times to do more and more research and bring them back to the future. Or something like that. Mm. Hence a lot of paperwork. You you actually have a point there. That that'd be a trick that people could try to pull off with time travel. Uh but then you'd get into possible paradoxes and such. Yeah, I think they, they probably used to the more like con very small contained version. Uh, for now, unless they give more hints to that, I think I'll uh, stick with them just sending in more people. Yeah, but I did get a lot of that um, saved. A lot of the technological advance Pretty crazy. Gotcha. Going invisible doesn't help when you glow out of your mouth. Stop that. Doesn't sound like that. It's that. Oh, there you are. There we go. Well, let's loot. We have more than plenty of this tech. Yeah, and don't forget to listen to the tape we found. Yeah. The test subject's increase in muscle tissue density can only be attributed to the E99 isotopes that were... This facility is under lockdown. What? Are you crazy? What is the meaning of this? There has been a security breach. Come with me. Who gave you the authority to do this? I did. Is Dr. Demichev? If you know that Dr. Borisov will not stand for... I will take care of Dr. Borisov. He's a traitor to Mother Russia. You two, round them up and find the device. You know where it is? Tell me. Demichev will rot in hell before I tell you anything! If you want to stay alive, you will do as you are told. Demichev is wasting his time! If he thinks thugs like you can cover up the truth! Alright, right, so responding to the E99 injections, lean mass, strength and hypertrophy are off the charts. I need to report this to the combat of human resources, as this has possible human applications. Check off. I've heard of Chekhov's gun, but not of Chekhov's rats. Go 
hello there. I feel like we should probably be afraid of the rats. This is the work log of Dr. Victor Berisov. My suspicions that E-99 could alter time are proving true. In our last experiment, a corn seed grew to maturity in just three days. The implications are staggering. Dr. Demichev has urged me to test the 99's effects on humans. I, of course, refused. Yeah, rapid regeneration or... Rapid growth? Yeah. Wait, that wasn't opened before. This probably will explain what happened to the shield that ate it. Hmm. Now, the, the children, they added a, a powder. So maybe that was meant to make them age faster. And probably did it well. Yeah. Judging by the time, zombies. I mean, in this case, they're more like time mutants. The heck is this? Can't shoot it. It seems alive. I saw an interact button there for a moment. Hidden coin? Ah, there. Work log of uh, Dr. Victor of Berichov. Workmen discovered a cavern full of E99 deposit below my lab the other day. This would explain why our readings were off. I have, I'm having it sealed off to try and insulate our, web, our work from its effects. Who is this E99? Now, whatever it is, we broke it. They did say there was an ore, so I think that might be a plant highly corrupted by it. Oh, like these? Yeah, just like these. <laughs> I hate him to be right at some times. I, I feel like that ghoulie probably one day will do a... Uh, there times where Drakir regrets being right. <laughs> Can't hurt it. But they're not even hostile to begin with. Nope. <laughs> Apparently the furniture is getting hostile. Some of the plants have absorbed the E99 properties. Perhaps they can be affected by the device as well? Barrage off again. See? No, I think that is the E99, the orange crystals there. Yeah. And uh, here we have a vault. Uh, no vault tech involved, though. Your signal's off the grid, so I'm guessing you found the vault. It contains the device Demichev killed your friend for. The TMD. TMD. I mean, the laser device. A lot of broken junk here. Success. I have managed to create a time manipulation of the device. In a form smaller than our original prototype. Now to lock it away where Demichev can't find it. Oh, hello. Smaller version of the device. 
Unfortunately, the TMD will only work on objects that are imbued with E-99. I am making great strides in my research and will continue to do so. To communist victory. Okay, so it it should be absolutely worthless outside of here. Or off of this yeah, island. It, uh, as long as it's uh... Yeah, only fix things that are made out of the material, basically. I think I get it now. The singularity. Oh. I I get the feeling that uh, Demichev sabotaged it to basically cause a E99 air fallout all across the planet, or something that to that kind of some something to that accord. Prototype is completed. A quite chunky, large beast. Yeah, it is. I need a more elegant solution, but for now this is fine. Yeah, you can you can look at uh, phones and well not you can look at well phones is one example, but it's less a bit of a lesser one. Uh, you could look at uh, computers and and hard drives, right? How quickly things can be uh, brought down to size. I think norm. I think standard SSDs these days now. The the actual chip. I have one right over here actually. Where I had it. Where did I put that thing? Over oh here. Like the the old. Uh, there it is. Like the old drives. Where and I forget how they're actually called. Uh, the old drives like the big ass uh, postcard size and like the th the thickness of two dozen of the th cards. Uh, yeah, and then you look at these things, and most of this is just housing. Most of the actual SSDs these days, the actual chip is only as big as your fingernail. Bloody heck. And compare that again to how computers in the really earliest stages were just complete room fillers. It's... it's uh, exponential. Hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Moscow Initiative Research Project, Film Log 19, relating to potential applications of the time manipulation device. Now, the device, or TMD as I come to refer to it, uses... Uses... What, E99, I presume? Require the time manipulation device TMD allows you to move objects back and forth through time, changing their state between old and new. Press Q to age or renew objects in the world. Okay. Well, I was going to go for an I am Iron Man joke, but uh. <laughs> I am Iron Man! Uh, then uh, the, the ceiling started collapsing and everything started rusting. And yeah, this will be one of, if not the main mechanic and main gimmick of this game. Impulse. Replace your melee attack with a more powerful blast of E99. Okay, so uh, yeah, we can toss that little knife. Yeah, now, I want to, can you call that time travel when you do this? Yes. Technically, you are pushing, or you technically are you are pushing or pulling an item through time, not exact time travel. Hmm. 
We probably want to make sure that this thing here... Uh, we can't affect it. We don't want uh, Demichev to get that. Oh, hello. Find Barisov. Okay. Who, who left that? If, if Mir 12 can't have left that, they... Or unless they lied about only suspecting that the vault was here. TMG energy regenerates slowly. Aging most objects use a minimal amount of energy. Aging organisms such as soldiers or creatures has a large E99 energy cost. Yeah, we can screw with our enemies with this. For a moment I thought we were going up there. Oh, hello. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> okay. No. I, I only... I only really... I didn't know that was there at all. I, I only did that because I... Just to see what would happen with each of these things. I've got you on the GPS. For all our sakes, I hope you got the TMD. You must use it to go back to 1955 and stop Demichev from killing Beresov. He is the only one who knows how to restore history to the way it's supposed to be. Okay, no need to do those. Hmm. And let's... Yep, and up. Yeah, I'm... I'm curious how... Uh, how... <clears throat> what effect this is going to have on enemies when we get to face them again. You sure about that? Ah, there we go. You should be coming upon a rift. A rift in time. They formed when the singularity exploded, and the island is dotted with them. Okay, so now we're going to get a bit Bioshock Infinite. Uh -oh. Time combined yeah, with the TMD. Forward. Allow you to travel back in time. Rifts are small openings in the space-time continuum for using large quantities of E99. And you were going to say? I say, we were saying, and there we have the hole. Chrono point. Uh, revealing nearby chrono footsteps that help you find your way. Okay. So basically this is, okay, that's where you need to go. And I think we were just too late. Uh, oh, we, yeah, we still have our weapons. Okay, for a minute I thought we lost those again. Okay, but... Okay, and these are just normal 50s Soviets. So a lot less armor. Well, that should have been fully expected. Affect that shield. Uh, let's heal. Come 
Okay, just a test item. E99 is even more powerful than I could have imagined. There was an accident today. A prototype TMD exploded. The radiation killed three of my assistants, and I cannot allow this to stop my work. It is too important. All of mankind will benefit if I am successful. Victor Beresov. It sounds like he had good in... Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's just ruin the environment as well here, then. Okay. Okay, that one was a bit too potent. Uh, spatial research. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Demichov is going on a purge of anyone who might oppose him. 55. Okay, so two years later, then... Wait, Demichov had this device for two years? I don't recall asking your permission. Just think about it. Premier Beresov. He has a nice ring. <sighs> That's not what we created the singularity for. I try to be nice. I try to include you. But make no mistake, I will kill you if you don't tell me where the TMD is. You wouldn't. Do I look like I am bluffing, Victor? Very well. You give me no choice, my... The DMD? How... You saved my life. You're wearing the DMD and an American uniform. Something must have gone terribly wrong. Follow me. I need my notes. Demichev's men! Ow. Uh, hello there in the chat. Super Lemon 2345. Uh, uh, yes. Singularity. I've been wanting to play this game for a long ass time, but it just refused to work. And okay, nice nice detail. The health packs are different here. And uh that was a bit anticlimactic. Though, hold on. No body. And you know what they say in fiction when there's no body. Something ate it. <laughs> That's also a possibility. TMD energy cell. They regenerate, but you can use energy cells to refill quickly. Okay. And automatically used. There are two guards. Wait. You dispose of them. Is it time bomb you just picked up? No, no, do not want that to hit in here with the doctor. And no, those were energy cells for the TMD. I'm oh, sure wow. Jeff would be angry when we refused to work on the singularity, but I never imagined he would resort to this. Let me get my notes. Damn it! It won't open! The TMD manipulates the aging process of objects, making them, for lack of a better word, older or younger. Even a safe can decay over enough time. We're running out of time. Please, age the safe with the TMD. Let's see, Super Lemon in chat. I played this game with others like Time Slayers and Time Shift. Yeah, time Shift, uh, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I have a poster on that for on the wall for the uh, so you know, Drakio, since you can't see my camera. Here, take oh. this. It is a prototype E99 weapon. It can be unstable, but should help tip the odds in our favor. Seeker. Well, to steer the EM E99 charge shell. I'll alter time and allow the operator to control the bullets. Okay. Oh, I have to talk about this gun. Yeah. 
Or I steer it with the mouse. So that one went in his face. Surprise! Oop, there's one to the right. Okay, and one behind one of the left pillars. Okay, this is a cool ass gun. Hello. And goodbye. Can I? Yes, I can bend it. Can I? Yes, I can. <laughs> Uh, no, I have not yet played time slurs. Uh, I have. I have heard only really good things about it, though. It is a good game. I played yep. time slurs too, I think. A lot. Actually, oh, I was going for the floor to try and get the both of them. In. Well, yeah, time travel or time shenanigans in general when done well, uh, can be quite fun. Oh. oh yeah, but it has to become very... when done wrong. Oh, no, it was our last round. Confusing. Yeah, a lot of people got confused with uh, Bioshock Infinite and that was the wrong button. Oh. I see something over there. And yeah, we're out of ammo. Uh, hold on. Uh, here. Uh, let's see. Fun series. I, uh, maybe I'll play it sometime. But uh, for now, I have plenty of PC games. Uh, and I have a doctor to protect. There, and I drop it. No goodies around here. Just, oh, smart guy. Not smart enough. Do you see the tactical face drawing? Yep. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Go on. Oh, actually, actually, I think I still had quite a few rounds in that other one. Okay. Or maybe not. Hmm. Either way, we're done here for now. Hell, look, I keep pressing R. I, I keep pressing F because I'm so used to that being the interact key in button in games. And, uh... <laughs> well, we blew him off his feet. Rather literally. Oh, no. oh, on. <laughs> oh, that seemed like a bad idea. Oh. Wait. That's some sort of... Time bubble. Oh, hello. The following demonstrates the practical applications of my breakthroughs in controlling E99 temporal distortions. The deadlock is a device that upon activation freezes all time within a radius. The effect has a limited duration, and it can be disabled with the use of gravimetric energy. It can be reactivated simply by deploying it again. The time distortion field also makes a very useful shield. I am certain that within a year my research will provide us with weapons that far surpass anything the West has. Then we can begin our conquest to communist victory. 
Okay, I, I'm beginning to see what caused the split be between these two. Uh, and just to repeat uh, Super Lemon in the chat, when I said break a leg, I didn't mean it literally. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it, to me it sounds... It looks like they were both uh, yeah, wanting for world domination, but uh, they may have more in the direct, uh, just immediate control uh, uh, way, and Beresov more in the uh, yeah, not not dictatorship way. Though maybe you are the lesser of a two evils. Just a little further. Knew it. Is that or, you know, if you have to say those lines, he may be shot. Oh, hello there. This is where our paths must part. Do not worry about me. I will find safety in that tower. And rest assured, we will meet again. Use the TMD to activate that rift. It will take you back to your time. Okay, 2010 actually. Okay, good, good luck, luck Doc. Captain Renko, I almost don't believe it. I have waited over 50 years to see you again, but to you it's been mere seconds, hasn't it? Remember the tower I told you I was going to? I've returned there. It seemed the most sensible place. Come quickly, we have much to discuss. And keep your eyes open. I sent a mutual friend to meet you. Mutual friends? Okay, we've, we've changed the time again now. Hello, bioformula. Blueprints and formula allow Beresoft to create new upgrades for you. Okay, now things are getting more interesting. Hero upgrade plans, hard in oh max health. That is that is always good. And nice. Oh, augmenter. Ooh. Yes, please. TMD equipment. Uh, to make TMD equipment. After purchasing the TMD equipment, you can must equip it to gain its benefits. Okay, yeah, this game is proving a lot more than just your average point-and-click shooter, huh? Yeah. That I already knew, though. Impulse damage and knockback. Hero perks. Okay, these are passives. And okay, yeah, that... <laughs> okay, we're going to need a lot more tech. Hmm. Oh, no, that's... Okay, that's a weapon upgrade credits. Yep, yeah, the health one is for 1k. Let's see. We haven't had difficulty with accuracy yet. So for now, let's just invest in that, and not let's see what else we can find. Uh, yeah, uh, to elaborate a bit more on the whole, both of them wanting to go for world domination. Uh, Demichev is more like the direct, just conquer everything. I think with uh, Barasov, it's more uh, yeah having better technology to be able to deter the enemy from attacking and invading and such, and then being able to slowly and more peacefully, hopefully, uh, encroach their influence around the planet. That's what I'm guessing at the moment. We'll have to see if he turns out to be a complete ass or not. Let's see. Senior technician Dimitrov. Something is wrong with my Bunsen burner. It doesn't work even when the valve turned all the way up. Could you take a look at it? Ivan. Ivan's a bit of an idiot, I'm thinking. Okay. That or they already fixed it. Okay, got it to two, Rift teleportation. Seems connected to this one and has appeared near the docks. I am walking 
walking in now. A slight tingling feeling, even through the suit. I am not perceiving anything visual out of the ordinary. And as you see, no noticeable... Turn it off! Um... <laughs> Oh, we can't notice the difference anymore. No, we can't notice the changes anymore because the changes <laughs> removed them from time. Okay. Yeah, they need a much better suit. Hmm? Damage have 55. Bad. Wait. Does this mean that people have been trying to change time multiple times already, or is that just them guessing or so? Wait. Oh dear, I think he actually killed himself by approaching himself. Hmm. Yeah, the, the voices there seem different, so I'm not sure if that was two Beresovs. Though... Yeah, my... Hmm. We'll have to see. We tested the Endograph module again, and again it failed. This time the test subject broke through the reinforced floor. Ivan barely escaped being crushed, which is unfortunate. I do not like him. <laughs> uh. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I guess it's a good thing, then, that we can't activate this one. <laughs> uh. Let's see. Still these four. Let's see. Let's go and... Yeah, let's put, let's put in this, as much damage on the shotgun as possible. It's a shotgun. It's supposed to just evaporate things. Uh. <laughs> Also, speaking of gravity stuff, the the, proto the prototype for the uh, TMD looked a bit like the portal gun. Yeah, kinda. This is an outright operator. What are you putting in there? And just a new one? Okay, what did that do? Upgrade it? Yeah, but upgrade it how? More? Oh, there we go. Gravity! Eat a... <laughs> okay, now we have our own <laughs> gravity pun. Okay. Okay, this is what E is used for. <laughs> okay. I, I I hope we can throw people around with that. I can hear mutants. So something still went wrong with the singularity, I'm guessing. Hmm. Change the past, change the present. Yeah, we've noticed that. Just, just turning things back and forth in time is cool enough on its own. And another formula, iron lung. Okay, more breath. We can restore you. No, we can't open you. Can we? Yes, we can use you to climb around, I think. There we go. Uh, oh, that's just an entire pile of them. Uh, look behind you. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah, weird as time plants that we can't interact with. Oh, Do you need I, a 
puking bag? No. I I I often seem oddly resistant to uh yeah normally disgusting stuff for other people though for some reason uh why sections in the shows like CSI and such always get on my skin or something. Rapper, yeah. you heal with help pack more quickly when not sprinting. I mean so hold you said rapper. And I kind of like you there, except I can have a CSI, and I think CSI just may be able to handle it a bit more. Ooh. But I can see people getting ducked in gory movies and games and such, but as quickly as talking about the eyeballs, I will freak out. Over yeah, that, that's, out. that's what uh, most of humanity shares that with you. And there we go. Yeah. I can see this. I didn't know I had that freak out of the eyes until I saw one anime when someone just poked someone's eye with a big needle. And yeah, that was my introduction to disliking that thing. But it was from them anime. Uh, yeah, we kind of need those things, so people tend to be very uh, careful with them. Yeah. And that was enough for me to never want to contact lenses. Yeah, same. I I do not want I do not want anything touching my freaking eyes. Same. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. Trying to be sneaky. He was smart enough to run away. Okay, we can't de we can't age those things, but we can force them back into a fizzle with the You will have to find an elevator that will take you to the upper floor of the administration building. All other ways are blocked. It seems we still have these things to deal with. Uh, I had a feeling they oh had time to swap weapons. Okay, so they are a different type than the, the ghouls or the Zex, as it just called them there earlier. Okay, just go straight through the fucking truck. Nope. Hello. And goodbye. Okay, another gate that we have to force open. Wait. It gave the it gave the option to. In, oh, I think it was the uh, gravity gun effect. Yeah, that is the gravity gun effect. I for a moment I thought I can age the tech or something that because I'm pretty sure that would be a bad idea. Yeah, I thought it's just a. I ate it, so it comes complete. Might not be what happened. Oh. Oh, 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 for a moment I saw the door close, but no. Let me get a bit more room. And <laughs> oh. No, you don't. Wait, did it just pull it out of its ass? It pulled it out of nowhere. Now, technically, you could probably say that it pulled it out of a time spot or something. Let's see. I don't like the new milk they're serving in the cafeteria. It's orange and it glows. I feel old when I drink it and cookies crumble into dust when I dunk them. But come on, not just... Not keeping it to just the kids that are testing that stuff on everyone without them noticing. Or nowhere to them, out, them being told. Oh, but I saw something... I thought there was some, something drop down here, but no. And if you know this book, the entire world was against human testing. Yeah. 
It is in that regard. Okay, you got the drop on me, but you're still gonna didn't get me. Aging. Age enemies with the T press to, to shift between to forcing it to shift between times, slowing his movement. Yeah, we've already seen that. And no, he can't do a backflip. Wait, you made him fly into a door, so of course he can't do the door. Take the elevator play. to the upper floor. Let's see, starting to forget it's been too long. Is that your writing, Beresov? Well, he's been waiting for you for 50 years. Yeah. F. Okay, we do have space for that. I again with F. Let's see. Though we are at, we, we are past the two hour mark now. So yeah. shall we shall we yeah, save it for here and meet the uh, Beresov in the next time? Yeah, let's meet the Beresov next time. Yeah. Okay. What is this? Invoice for uh, Bonds and Burses, one anti-gravity test subject, three typewriters, 50 boxes of cookies, 20 gallon, uh, not 20, 12 gallons of E99 infused milk. Yeah. The 50 boxes of cookies. <laughs> uh. Okay. Hmm. I don't know when the last checkpoint was. Hmm. But I haven't really noticed too much of when it says there is a checkpoint. Uh, it can't have been too far back. Let's let's just check. Uh, right here. Okay. Oof. Yeah. Th this this game is pr promising to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Now, now I think you can see why people spoke highly about it. Yeah. And it just makes unique. it, yeah, that that it certainly is. And uh, it just makes it extra sad that the developers were basically forced into making junk after this. Uh, Wait, what? I forget. I think it was, I'll have to look it up in a bit here. But I think they were a part of, were an affiliate of EA. And well, you know how EA does. Uh, check. Okay. Raven software. Da -da. Are they they're still active? Let's see. Da -da -da. Is American United States publishing deal with oh, Activision? Yeah, Activision is uh, not any better. Let's see. They made Heretic and Hexen. And let's see the game. Da, da, da. Oh. Uh, yeah, it seems that uh, since the da, da, da. police source codes were started. Da, da, da. Okay, it seems that after this, they've basically been making uh, <clears throat> Call of Duty games and. Uh, yeah, we all know how those have been going since the Modern Warfare ones. Yeah, I don't think they are happy. Okay. Uh, hopefully next time I'll actually have a better standard to put this thing here on, because at the moment it's on a freaking box that's standing between... Well, not really between it. It's standing in front of a just the edges of my monitors. And no, I can't move my monitors much further to the side. So yeah, hopefully Tuesday I'll have a, an actual standard to put that thing on. <laughs> but yeah, that, that'll be until then, because yeah, then we'll be continuing with this game. Yeah, yeah I'm, 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 look, I'm looking forward to that. Same here, I've got a question for you. And that is? What's in the box? <laughs> yeah, Schrodinger's cat. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> Anyways, no, <laughs> it's open. It, it, 
Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Tuesday, not Tuesday, Thursday, more singularity, but until then, until then. Be safe, folks!